Hi everyone, this is Napo from Perfectos Engineering team. Today I'll show you an introduction on how to start building your regression testing. After finishing this educational video, you'll be more familiar with the technical details and will be able to continue expanding your testing effort so you can cover a full regression. First, you need to navigate to this URL and download a copy of the project. Then, after successful download of the file, you need to extract it. After you extract it, we need to import the project. Let's open your IDE. I've chosen Eclipse. Right click, import. Existing Maven projects. Next, browse, find the folder. and you already have the POM file selected. Click Finish, and the project will appear here. After successful importing of the project, we can now set it up. Let's navigate to SRC Main Java, com Perfecto Sample Project, Perfecto Selenium.java. Here we have sections for cloud name and security token. You can take those by our Perfecto portal. After I've taken the needed information, I can substitute this string with the cloud name and this string with the security token. So here you can see three different sections. One for Android, one for iOS, and one for web test. If you look carefully, you'll notice how the code is identical. This is because with Selenium and Perfecto, you can reuse the same code for different device types, a fast and easy solution for responsive websites. In the today's example, I'll create a couple of scenarios that cover some of my potential use cases. To keep the test atomic, I'll keep the navigation to the site for each step. Here are the use cases. Click on the first tab, Platform. Select first menu item, Testing Cloud, and make sure all submenu items are there. Second use case. Click on Platform. Select second menu item and verify all the submenu items are there. Third use case, click on platform, select third menu item and verify all the submenu items are there. One possible option to create your additional test files would be to simply use this file as a structure to create your own scenarios. Just copy the file and paste it under another name. Right click, copy, right click, paste, rename, and hit enter. Let's continue by creating the other files that are needed for our mini regression testing. Copy, paste, rename. Copy, paste, rename. After we have created the files that we need, we need to change it a bit to correlate to our use case. Find the text that you would like to change and insert your code inside. Save it and now you can run it. In case you need help with objects identification or elements location, you can easily go to the Perfecto portal, select one of the devices, 
navigate to the site that you'd like to test and click on activate object spy. This will open this menu and from here you can easily select the element that you need. Copy the smart locator and you can use it in your code. To locate the elements for the desktop web part you need DevTools. Open DevTools, click here, select the element and copy its export. After you are done with all of your test creation, here is how to organize the tests with the help of TestNG. Navigate to the following XML, change the parallel value to classes and add the classes you would like to. Save it and run it as a test NG suite. Now you can sit back and enjoy the tests being executed in parallel for you through automation. You can also visually observe the test runs live so you can see what's happening on the devices right now. After you are done with your testing, you can observe the results. Go to Report Library and select any of the results that you would like to see. Here you see the steps and here you have the video of the test. Next time I'll show you how to use CI Dashboard, Insights and Heatmap to analyze your results at the best way possible. Have a nice day and happy testing with Perfecto!